The Tesla Cybertruck is finally here. Tesla has finally started shipping the truck to customers, but only 10 customers have purchased one for themselves so far, and it remains to be seen how quickly Tesla can ramp up production. First introduced in 2019, the Tesla Cybertruck is unlike any pickup truck we've ever seen. It's electric, which isn't entirely unusual and honestly expected from a Tesla, but its futuristic design sets it apart from everything else on the road. Whether this is good or bad is a matter of personal preference. Wondering if Cybertruck is right for your needs? Here's all about what it is, what it does, how much it will cost, and when cyber motorists will have a wider opportunity to get behind the wheel. Design. Much has been said about Cybertruck's design, and there is little we can add to the conversation. Now that the production model has started shipping, we have a good idea of what the final version of the truck looks like. Surprise! It's not really that different from the truck that was announced in 2019. Sure, it's a bit smaller around 5%, but the overall look of the truck is more or less the same. As reported, the body is made of cold rolled 30X stainless steel, which prevents dents and rust. It offers a 6.5-foot cargo box that Tesla refers to as a safe. You can call it a safe, a box, or a bed. Either way, it's topped off with a cover sturdy enough to stand on, and Tesla says it plans to release a range of accessories for workers, adventurers, and anyone in between. For example, owners will be able to add a camper top and a pull-out kitchen to the Cybertruck. Onboard electrical outlets that draw electricity from the battery allow passengers to power tools and devices off the grid. Tesla also outlined an onboard air compressor. Its truck is shaping up to be one of the most versatile models on the market. Interior The interior of the Cybertruck also turned out to be quite similar to the prototype, with a few improvements. The Cybertruck offers a huge storage space between the two armrests along with a large 17-inch display that drivers will use for infotainment, instrument monitoring, and so on. Like the exterior, the interior is quite boxy, but feels a bit more comfortable than you might expect. The second row of seats adds three seats, allowing a total of five people inside the Cybertruck. Specs Of course, the level of awesomeness depends on which version you're looking at. The basic variant is equipped with one engine that drives the rear wheels. Acceleration from a standstill takes 6.5 seconds, and the range is approximately 250 miles. Tesla does not disclose the specifications of its batteries. Move up the hierarchy, and you'll find a mid-range version with two electric motors for all-wheel drive, a towing capacity of 11,000 pounds, a sprint to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds, and about 340 miles of range. Last but not least, the three-engine flagship model also towers 11,000 pounds and rockets to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. Range is slightly less than the midsize model, at 320 miles. While the Cybertruck's range is a bit disappointing, customers can purchase a range extender that reduces the size of the bed, but increases the truck's 130-mile range. Tesla hasn't talked much about the range extender, and it's not yet available for purchase for the truck, so the numbers could change. Ground clearance is controlled up to 16 inches, thanks in part to the adaptive air suspension that's standard regardless of truck configuration. Tesla dials approach and departure angles of 35 and 28 degrees, respectively. Competitors Perhaps the Cybertruck's biggest competition comes in the form of the Ford F-150 Lightning, which is basically just an electric version of the classic F-150. While the Cybertruck is aimed at those who want something completely different from anything before it, the F-150 Lightning is built for those who want something tried and true by electric. The Cybertruck is priced similarly to the F-150 Lightning, but you can't get the base model just yet. The F-150 Lightning starts at around $60,000, while the base model Cybertruck starts at $60,990. Unfortunately, the base Cybertruck won't be available until 2025. The Cybertruck's next big competition comes from Rivian in the Rivian R1T. The R1T has a longer range than the Cybertruck, starting at 270 and going up to 410 miles, but it also has a higher starting price of $73,000. Factory Location In July 2020, Musk announced that the Cybertruck would be built in a Giga factory in Austin, Texas. The Austin Giga factory doesn't just build the Cybertruck, it also builds the Model Y and is Tesla's global headquarters. Price 
Tesla will eventually make a number of different Cybertruck models. Unfortunately, not all of these models are available yet. The base model of the Cybertruck is a twin-engine model and starts at $60,990. Unfortunately, this model will not be available until 2025. A step up is the all-wheel drive model, which starts at $79,990, while the Cyber Beast starts at $99,990. It's not cheap, but it will be nice to finally get a relatively cheap version of the Cybertruck. Keep in mind that you can't get a Cybertruck until 2024 at the earliest, and Tesla isn't saying when in 2024. Also, the price of trucks can change over time. It's possible that the Cybertruck will qualify for the full EV tax credit, or at least for models under $80,000. Currently, the requirements are that the vehicle must be under $80,000, manufactured in North America, and meet EPA requirements for batteries and critical minerals. This means that eligibility for the tax credit has shifted several times and eligibility can depend on things like when the vehicle is actually delivered. Release Date Anyone with $250 to spare can reserve a Cybertruck by logging into Tesla's official website. Making the reservation is not a binding agreement to purchase the Cybertruck when production begins. It's a more or less refundable and no obligation way to register your interest. Tesla will ask reservation holders to confirm their interest at a later date, presumably once Tesla can ramp up production to meet interest over the next year or two. That's all from today's episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.